Hey guys, welcome back to some more AFK Arena. Today we're back over on a test server, and of course, nothing makes it more official than seeing the Awakened version of Entendre until the Fiery Devotion shows up. That is right. When we start looking at the test server, the Fiery Devotion is up, which means the Awakened version of Entendre is coming. Now, overall, a lot of feedback from the video earlier that kind of showed the skills and abilities the hero had, and very unique in her being a warrior, but also being a very, very big damage dealer is what it seems with the physical pierce, the physical resistance, everything else that she is going to be doing. And I'm thinking also with a lot of heroes being able to buff behind her, it's going to be super interesting to see. Now, overall, when you look at the design of the hero, when you look at the layout, um, a lot of players not too impressed with the actual build or the actual design of the hero. They could have done a lot more. And I agree with it in in wholeheartedly. I feel like even the weapon in here, even though it looks really cool, they could have really made it full-blown spectacular like we have seen some of the game changers in the past when it comes to the Awakened Heroes. This one, again, functionality-wise, it seems like it's going to be there, but build-wise, doesn't seem like it is super impressive. Now, of course, haven't seen what the ultimate ability, haven't seen really what the skills are looking at this point. Also remember in this patch is going to be the increase of the probability for the Stargazer as well as um, the time um, or the Temple of Time. So make sure again that you're getting all of those. Now looking at the unyielding protection, this of course is going to yield us boom time emblems. That is right. Time emblems are what we're looking for and you get them out of pretty much everywhere right now. It's kind of impressive how much they have added the time emblems. Then of course we do get the discounted summons that are coming with the hero release. In addition, we are also getting again those higher rates. So it's going to be very interesting to see and we're going to have to keep cop keep account of when the hero comes up exactly when we're going to getting these. So of course, this is the stained glass window like we've seen before. These are coming out of the bounty board. Make sure you're doing these. In addition, you do get some elite stones out of here. So definitely well worth doing this. Then of course, the first glance is going to be coming up. Now I am assuming that looking at kind of the schedule, tomorrow we might actually see the patch notes. It could be Wednesday, but I'm thinking it's probably going to be a little bit later tomorrow that we'll see the patch notes. And then, of course, with the patch notes before all of this is actually out, we will see the Awakened version of Entendre that is going to be revealed. So very cool. And then, of course, the Land of Exile, which is going to be in conjunction with the Voyage of Wonder. And that Voyage of Wonder is also going to include some additional time emblems. And then with the actual release of it, and again, a lot of players have already kind of put these into place, knowing that we are going to have the release of the hero. They are going to give us 50 time emblems. So again, kind of thinking here and running the numbers. So when you start thinking, so straight off the bat, we're getting 50 for the release. We already know that. And here we get another 10. That takes us to 60 for the release. Right here gives us another 12. So we do get three out of each one. So that takes us to 72 out of there. Land of Exile is going to give us another two. Now that, of course, takes us to 82 emblems with the release. Now we know the Pity Timer is 65. Don't know if that's going to be adjusted with the summons. And I want to do some summons over here when we do have the opportunity to. But I also want to run through where you can pick up these time emblems. Because again, if you're looking to build any of these Awakened Heroes, it is super imperative that you're getting out the time emblems pretty much out of every aspect that you can within AFK Arena, making sure that you're really maximizing them. So let's start over here with a few that are really easy, like the store. Now, a lot of players do kind of question this right here with the time emblem out of the store. Again, if you're looking to get any Awakened Heroes, which I highly recommend because the Awakened Heroes are the strongest heroes within AFK Arena. So you're going to have to buy this every single day. Now, I know this is going to be at the sacrifice of your regular heroes, your desired hero summons, also your Stargazer. But this is going to be the number one priority out of the shop is the time emblem card in its entirety. You want to make sure that you're getting this all of the time. Now, looking at the Dream Store, again, this is another place that is going to yield you 10 time emblems. So when you start, again, kind of running the numbers, if we're getting one out of the shop every day, we're getting roughly 30 a day. Time emblems, we're getting 10 out of here a month, making sure that you're picking those up. Then, of course, when you start looking at the Guild Store, we are getting another 10 in here every single month. And again, remember, the probability is going to change, which means it's going to take a lot less time emblems to go ahead and build out those heroes. Now we also do have Eugene in here, really good. And honestly, those are the two priority. I would prioritize both of those long before I really went in here and bought any of the dimensional gear. And of course, if you're doing the exchange for um, 
Rimuru, if you're doing it for Shuna, you wanna make sure 100% that you're saving all of your resources for the exchange and that you're not shortchanging yourself by actually going in here and doing the purchases. When we start looking at the rest of this, unfortunately, there are no additional places to pick up those time emblems at all within here. So you're kind of stuck at that. Now, when we start getting into the more competitive modes, when we start looking at the Curse Realm, when you start getting into the Nightmare Corridor, and you start looking at the rewards that are yielded within these different places, looking at the ranking as you continue to make progression in here, and for majority of people, even for some of like AFK Arena free, uh, free to play, we see a really good progression in there. And as you can see, you're getting a significant loot, but right there you start getting your Stargazer Scrolls, and then as you go in here and you get a little bit further, um, you start getting time emblems, that's right. So if you're in the top 16%, these are gonna yield you some time emblems out of here, which really incentivizes players not only to push within this game mode, and again, looking at some of the free to play players that are still coming in here and getting a lot of time emblems out of here. Even for myself, we usually land about 15% or less, but as you can see, the closer that you do get to being that top 50, you do get a lot more time emblems. Now, the same is true when it comes to the Nightmare Corridor, looking at the exact same, when you start looking at the leaderboard and you start making a lot more progression down here, you're going to start seeing a lot more poke coins out of there, which of course is imperative. Now, this one actually has some added resources and there you start getting baits out of there. Um, then we start getting, that is right, Draconis Insignias. This, of course, is one of the very, very few places that you start seeing insignias. And as you can see, the further you get, you do get furniture, but you also get insignias. Um, unfortunately, we are not getting any time emblems out of here. But when you look at the Draconis insignias, a lot of players are saying that the Awakened version of Entendra looks and feels a lot more like a Draconic hero than it does an Awakened hero in itself. And then, of course, we look at our Treasure Scramble. If again, you're kind of familiar with the treasure scramble, when we're going in the treasure scramble and you're starting to look at the loot that we are getting within here, um, it is very, very, oh, as you can see, it's over. I'm not sure if it is gonna show us the loot, which it does right there. But again, as you're going through here and you're pushing in the treasure scramble, not only are you getting more baits, and again, a lot of free, play, free to play players um, that are making a lot of progression in here, start getting a lot more uh, emblems out of there. Then of course you get to the point of getting time emblems. If you're in the top 100, you are going to be pulling some time emblems out of here. So there is kind of a multitude of ways that you can get those time emblems. And of course, if all else fails, you can always hop into the shop. The time emblems are always available in here to go ahead and purchase. So again, if you wanna go through a couple different places, you can just straight up buy some of the time emblems, which I know maybe they're not in this one. Uh, there's our Stargazer Scrolls, there's our time emblems. I was gonna say, I thought they were in here, but of course, if all else fails and you're putting money into AFK Arena, um, you can get the time emblems. But one of the best ones, and we talked about this a little bit earlier, if you're looking to make a purchase, guys, it is right here. The deluxe monthly card is going to yield you one time emblem every day, which means, for the total of the $14.99 or the $15, you are getting 30 additional time emblems. So not only are you getting 30 out of the store, you are also getting another 30 out of the chest itself, which again, when you think of the cost for $15, you're also getting some red chests out of here. You are also getting some cores out of here. So the ability to build the hero for $15. And again, remember, big picture, you are getting 30 of your time emblems out of here. When you look at the cost comparison rate here of 30 time emblems, this is running you $10 more for essentially the exact same amount of time emblems. Now I know with Yuri's Bundle, there is the ability to get some additional loot out of here, but overall, when you look at the $10 savings in there, the deluxe is pretty good because you also do get all of the additional loot that comes out of the game mode. So right, guys, so that is gonna do it for today's video. Let me know in the comments what you guys think, and as always, thank you guys for watching.